Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to work with OneDrive for Business. And in previous demonstrations, I worked with your personal My Sites documents library here. Uh, so you'll notice this is rather limited. It doesn't have views. It doesn't have uh, creating new columns, anything like that. But of course, you can also use OneDrive for Business with other document libraries. I'm going to go into My Sites list here and find the 2016 kickoff where I have some interesting documents in the documents document library. And there I can go ahead and click on the sync button, either there or there in the ribbon. What that does is sets up this library to sync to my device. In this case, of course, my Windows computer. And that syncs the information from the SharePoint site into my library or my, my computer, which is under C users admin. So I'm going to sync that now, and that's going to take a few seconds, and then I'm going to have the option to open that library or show my files. And here they are, the kickoff documents. In a few seconds, all of them should show, and they should also have the little green icons indicating that they are indeed synced with my SharePoint site. There we are. All the documents are there, synced to my computer, and with a little green icon to indicate that they're synced. So let me show you here, if I click back here to my admin folder, you'll notice that I now have three new folders here that we might not have noticed before. First, there's the OneDrive one that's in, included in Windows 10, and that's um, the option to connect to my Microsoft account, not my Office 365 account. Then there's this OneDrive uh, that's connected to my personal my site and then there's this one this was just added a few seconds ago when i did my first sync of a sharepoint document library so if i go into that you'll notice that there's a subfolder there which has the name standard of the name of the site and the name of the library and there of course is uh, are my files if you save a lot into this document library on SharePoint, I would recommend adding this library to the quick access. And you do that in Windows 10 simply by dragging and dropping this to the quick access. That means, of course, that when you start working in another app like Excel, for example, and you want to save your beautiful work here, you can go into your computer and browse and there's of course your link under the quick access which i just showed you so and then you can just name that file and it will be saved to your computer and then uploaded into the sharepoint document library save that and now it's get saved to my computer and eventually uploaded into my sharepoint site thank you for watching this demo